I think the NRC has been a, a great addition to Australian rugby. I think it, you know you can see the benefit that you know even players in our setup have had by having the regular game time. You know, guys like you know, perfect example, Christian Leofano, who who played regularly for Canberra this year, came into the last Bledisloe Cup and and played really well. You know, and that's on the back of being able to play consistent footy at uh, at another level. So I think you know that's just one benefit. Oh, for, for the top level, but I think the exposure it's given to a bunch of younger guys and the amount of extra footy we've got has been uh, been a great success. Yeah, I think it's it's fantastic. Guys get a, more of an opportunity now. You know, previously you'd have to select from club footy, and it's uh, you know, and guys we, we probably get guys a bit younger than uh, than they probably were ready. So it's probably shown that gives them an exposure to to a top class of footy, very similar to, to Super Rugby with the travel. The, the style of footy, so it allows those guys to, to get exposed to that earlier and then gives, I guess, the, the clubs an ability to, to look and, and see and, you know, not just the individual club that they're playing for, but across the country, you know, if, if a guy stands out, then there's nothing stopping a, another franchise picking him up. Yeah, well, I think, I think the momentum's been good and we've just got to continue that on. I think the fact that, you know, hopefully we can get some more games, you know, viewed on TV, hopefully more people looking, more people at the grounds. I think, you know, everyone that's gone to attend a NRC game has, has come away saying how entertaining and how much they enjoyed it. So the more we can get the word out about it, the more people that we can get through the gates and I guess the, the competition will grow and I guess the opportunities are, are really endless because we're, we're willing to try things and do things a little bit differently than they probably do around the world. Uh, yeah, I think it's been great um, on many different levels. Uh, I think if you miss selection, the Wallabies, a lot of boys have been going back to get uh, much needed game time. Um, I know local talent from Perth have been playing a lot of football and uh, I think three or four of them have picked up contracts for us next year so it's a, definitely a, a good system and I think the more times it's played and the more years it goes on the bigger and better it's going to get. Look I think that um, what it does is it, it brings all the, the players closer uh, like in more view so the higher level because there's less teams playing in a, in a condensed version the players who are not playing Wallabies or even some who have been in the squad and have been going back to play are all presenting on any given day against each other. And that's really good for all the Super Rugby coaches to see. And um, like I know uh, that there's been a lot of scouts and different people going to watch because you're seeing different players and then you're seeing players who haven't been involved in Super Rugby squads competing against those guys. And it all of a sudden gives you a gauge in numbers, not just one or two here or there. And it gives you a gauge... Of, of where that's at and I think th of where players are at and how they can compete so given time like any any good thing it needs a bit of time to get itself going you know and uh, and established we'll see much more of a clear pathway for guys to step in and then step through into Super Rugby and I think already from this season maybe two or three of the lads are getting picked up for Super Rugby contracts and that'll grow 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 there's no quick fix with development you've just got to make sure you plan a seed and see it through. Good plan, take your time, and eventually it'll bear fruit, guaranteed.